We get a lot of people that message us and say things like, I'm trying to learn, but the experienced machinist won't teach me anything. And I'm so discouraged that I'm considering quitting this job or maybe even getting out of this trade altogether. Or sometimes they'll say, I'm an operator or setup machinist, and I want to become a programmer, but the company I work for won't give me a chance. If this sounds like something that you are currently experiencing, then keep listening because I'm going to share with you some things that will hopefully get you past these barriers and the approach that I personally took to get to where I am today. In a recent video, I spoke about the mentor that I had when I first started out and how his training technique really helped accelerate my career. But I've also worked in shops with guys that had nearly 30 years experience and wouldn't answer any question I had because they were so afraid that I was going to pass them like we were in some sort of fantasy competition that didn't exist. So I can relate to what some of you may be going through. But what I did not mention in that video is the reason these guys were willing to teach me was because I showed a deep desire to learn and I also expressed gratitude every time they went out of their way to teach me something. So before we start casting stones and say that others are not willing to teach, we always need to look at ourselves first. And in this case, we need to ask the question, am I opening myself up to be taught? The reason I say this is because I've worked with young guys in the past that were on second shift starting out and they would come to me and say, man, I wish I knew what you know, but I don't have anyone on second shift that will teach me. So I offered to stay over every day and teach them everything I know. But I quickly found out that as soon as I started telling them something important, they would tune out and then wander off to talk with their buddies about go-karts. That's the moment I realized that they didn't want to know what I know. They just wanted to get paid what I got paid without putting in the work. As the saying goes, everyone wants to be a line until it's time to be a line. So after I saw that they really didn't care about learning or the fact that I was spending time away from my family to teach them, I packed my things and went about my way. You need to keep in mind that experienced machinists have put a lot of time in learning their trade. And if they're going to go out of their way to give free information, then they are going to make sure that the person they are teaching really wants the information and is going to be grateful for it. But if you are eager to learn and still nobody at your shop is willing to help, then you need to take charge of your career and invest in it to become successful. And the best thing to invest in is yourself. When I first started out, I went to a local bank and borrowed $2,000 so I could buy all my measuring tools. Instead of buying cheap equipment, I knew that all of my reputation was based on the quality of work I produced. And in order to produce great quality, I needed the best equipment which cost me a lot more of my own money, but I could feel more confident in the work I produced. And even though I had people that were willing to teach me the trade when I first started out, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to learn as much as I wanted or as fast as I wanted if I only learned during working hours. Because most of the time, schedules and deadlines were more important than me taking my sweet time learning something new, as it is with most places. So I would spend countless hours at home doing research, buying books, and writing G-code programs in a notebook to try and learn all I could, or to find a solution to a problem I was having before I went back to work the next day. I worked with so many people that would clock out at five and immediately shut their brain off and wouldn't turn it back on until they clocked in the next day, or would refuse to buy their own tools or do any kind of research on their own. I wanted to learn CAM programming and I had found that we had some DVD tutorials at the shop, so I purchased an expensive laptop that would run our CAM software and my boss let me take home the dongle at night which allowed me to open the software on my computer. And I would watch those DVDs and follow along all night. I did this until I had a good grasp on the CAM software. This was me investing in myself, building my knowledge, which helped me leverage new positions. This was all before the Titans of CNC channel existed and the amazing education that is being broadcast today. At this time, there was very little information on CNC machining on the internet. Fast forward to today, and there is an amazing opportunity for growth and development, and it's all for free. The amount of education that is on this channel and on our academy at academy.titansofcnc.com is staggering. There's hours and hours of tutorials that you can learn on your own without needing anyone else's help. There you can learn everything from basic machining fundamentals like setting up a machine 
to designing in SolidWorks and programming in Mastercam from simple three axis parts to complex five axis parts. Never has there been more information readily available than there is today. But nobody is going to do the work for you. You have to put in the time and effort yourself. And once you do, if your employer still won't give you a chance, after you have proven that you are going above and beyond to better yourself and the company, then at that time, maybe you need to think about moving on to a company that values hard work and dedication. As always, thank y'all for watching. If you've stuck around this long, then you are obviously not like the kid that I previously mentioned that's only concerned with go-karts. And I promise you, one way or another, we will be teaching you everything we know without any reservation that you will be passing us up because that is exactly what we want to see. Leave me a comment if you found this helpful, and I'll see y'all next time.